Damn. We are at the Manhattan Car Club with Matt Farah from the Smoking Tire. Hi. I've Did done you like pod- my pirouette. I saw the pirouette. I've done uh, podcasts from here with you, but I've never done the visual. So I wanted you to kind of walk through the garage yeah. real fast. So Classic Car Club uh, in Manhattan is two things. One, it's a big cool event space, and it's a members it's a members club with a bar and a restaurant. Um, but it's also a fleet of cars that, that as a member you can you get a certain number of points and you can use them to take out and, and drive the cars and that's awesome the club is always rotating what yeah. their cars are there's old cars and new cars and sports cars and trucks all kind of stuff so you want to look at some cars yeah fuck yeah so one of the things they do is they have race cars here and you can take these cars uh to the track they'll trailer them up to the track to monticello motor club and they have member track days with not just the race cars but some of the other cars so this is called a radical um, it's uh, very appropriately named because it's kind of crazy. Uh, it uses a motorcycle engine, like a Suzuki Hayabusa engine with a sequential paddle shift gearbox. Very, very light, uh, very, very fast, extremely fun to drive. Um, and some of them have passenger seats, some of them don't. This one does. Um, and they're very cool. How fast would that go? On a track. I mean, a top end is it's not crazy fast with top end, maybe 140, 150, but like the lap times, it's a downforce car, it's very light, it uses slick, so the lap times are gonna be faster than basically any street car that money can buy. Damn. You probably you might have to spend like a million dollars or something to go. I don't even think a million dollar street car would go faster than this, but uh, this is a Porsche uh, 550 Spider replica. I think it's probably by a company called Beck, which makes these. Um, the real ones are like $5 million. Um, this one it starts as a, as a 356 Porsche underneath uh, with a power, uh, from the powertrain perspective, but it's a tube frame car, which is basically how they were built back then anyway. This thing gets, I think this thing gets a lot of exercise. Really, <laughs> I would it, imagine. It, these things weigh like nothing. I mean, this is, this is the, the, the car James Dean died in. That's probably, oh, really? Yeah, the 550 Spider is the, is the car that James Dean died in. So. So it's famous kind of for that. I expect I expect the Carrera GT to be kind of the same because you know uh, Paul died in it. Uh, this red car is a 911 GT3. 911 GT. Porsche 911 GT3. Nice. It's a very nice, fun, fun, fun car. Um, really, really nice to drive. Basically good at everything. Um, there's, there's not. You'd have very few tasks that you could ask a car to do that that car won't do very well. I mean, even if you, they have snow tires for this, you put snow tires on this thing, it's a beast in the snow. In Germany, they drive them all, all winter. Uh, this is a 65 Corvette. It might be a 66. I think it's a, excuse me, it's a 63 Corvette. Whoa. Sorry, I was off. Um, what is cool about this, and I'm 90% certain it's the same one I drove, is that it, I, I believe it has a modern engine. Um, well, let's find out. It's locked. I'm 90% sure this has a engine from like a 2003 Corvette in it, what you call an LS engine, uh, which makes it a little more uh, usable, uh, and also a five-speed transmission instead of a four-speed transmission that this car came with. I, if, it's, if it's the one I remember driving, it's, it's super, super fun. Uh, suicide Door Lincoln Continental, uh, the, the JFK uh, assassination car. Is this really? Not the one. No, I know that, oh, yeah. but this oh, yeah. is... He, JFK was killed in a, in a 63 Lincoln Continental uh, with the top down. You know, these are famous for the suicide doors. Uh, oh, this one's also locked, but the doors, you know, super, they, they, they open. All right. Called a suicide door because if you open it and try to jump out, you hit the door uh, and commit suicide. But it's a lovely car. Is it the exact year of the JFK one? I think so. He, I'm pretty sure he was killed in the 63, and they made this for 60... 364, and I think they're all the same. Maybe 61 or 62 also. I'm not perfect on my Lincolns, but this is the car that everyone is talking about. When talking and there's about the, there's the death door. seat. Yeah, there's the death seat. Door. Wait, I want to see where the bullets would bounce around. The magic bullet. The magic bullet. Down and to the left. Yeah, yeah, down yeah. right. Left. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that, that the exact uh, car was here. Not. That is badass. It's a cool car. Also, you remember um, Tevin Dillon and Entourage drove these right. too, right? Uh, Ford Bronco, classic truck. Morning. Uh, I believe this is a 69. Um, these things are like, where I live, these are like the car. 
Like this is the car of Venice, California. Everybody's got one of these. Uh, Jeremy Piven daily drives one of these in LA actually, of all people. Um, this is more my style, Matt. Yeah, I would this, love this. This one's got locking differentials, manual transmission, got a roll bar in it. These things are piles of shit <laughs> and they are so expensive. I mean, this you want to talk about a car, this thing is like, this, is the, this will be the rattliest, <laughs> worst built vehicle you'll ever drive. It's really? Like $60,000. No kidding. Yeah, yeah. I, I would put my. If a, car I, looks cool, if a car looks cool enough and has the right attitude, it doesn't matter if it's a piece of shit once it's a classic. You know what I mean? I would put my fishing poles in this and drive down right. the beach, and I'd be very happy. Yeah. Well, it's like a it's like a Hamptons car. You yeah. know what I mean? Like the you know like your Grand Wagoneers. Right. You know, same kind of deal. Yeah, it's definitely a, it's a beach car. Um, this is a Lotus Avora. What is this? This is a Lotus Avora 400. Um, I love these. This car is phenomenal. It's very light. It's very rigid, but it has a really good compliance suspension. It has a manual transmission. It's powered by a um, supercharged Toyota Camry engine, which is good because it means you can beat the balls off this thing and it will just take it. Uh, these cars take abuse better than like almost anything on the road. I've got thousands and thousands of miles driving these and I absolutely love these cars. They're such nice cars. Uh, this is a Datsun Z. Datsun Z? I think it's a 260Z. Oh, it's a 40Z. Oh, it is a 40. Sorry, it's a 40. And, uh, right, see. is this open? Lock. These cars rule. The Lotus is a really nice. Yeah, they're, they're beautiful, beautiful cars. The Z is lightly modified. It's very cool. I don't I don't know much about it. I, it's a club car, though. Um, those wheels are called Panasports. And it's got a nice kind of subtle body kit on it, but I don't know what what's been done to the engine. It's an inline six. It's in it's in pretty nice shape. These things are cool. They're very pretty cars. You were literally talking a foreign language to me. <laughs> uh, Land Rover Defender. Right. Another car that is a steaming hunk of shit worth a ton of money. Um, I think I think this is a U.S. spec car. They only sold these in the U.S. in '97, which would make this kind of valuable oh 94 to 97 excuse me but this is a u.s spec car um i mean these things are like 50 60 thousand dollars for for one of these and they're designed for people who don't have left arms <laughs> <laughs> the door just goes where your left arm would go um you know people either love those or or hate them i hate them um behind you is a cobra uh, it's a replica. It's not a. It's not an original. But they are. Uh, they're fun to drive. I think this. Is this small? Is this a small motor car? Uh, Let's take a look. Let's see what type of engine. You're gonna have. Oh shit! Look at that. It's a Coyote motor. Yeah. So this has an engine from a, a 2011 and up Mustang. Yeah. So this probably goes pretty good. BMW M. These, these were these were. When you drive one of these, you have to ask yourself: Do you want to die when you hit the wall, or do you want to die in the ambulance ride later? <laughs> oh, really? I had one of those, and it wanted me so dead. I mean, every time I took it out, it tried to kill me. And it's, you know, it's pretty. It's a classic shape. It's really. Um, they are pretty fun to drive, but but they're death traps <laughs> you know back in the day when people raced these things they people you know people died on racetracks every weekend when they were racing these things they're just they're really really sketchy and, and they're actually so light that you can lock the brakes up really right. easily and slide uh, this is a bmw m4 gts it's, a, it's an interesting car because if this gts bit is a special edition the M4, you get more power, you get this roll cage in the back, you get this wing, you get we special wheels, you get the matte paint, um, which uh, on this car, they must have washed it a lot because it's actually, the matte paint is getting a little shiny. Um, but this car was, so the regular M3 is like 85 grand new. This is like 160, they doubled the price. And so it's a great car for a place like this because if you're a member, 
Yeah, you want to take it out for the weekend, but you're not going to blow 160 grand of your own money on an M4. So, uh, and then we have a classic Porsche, air cooled. This is going to be from the 90s, 91 to 94. Let's call this a 964. It has some, uh, it look like <clears throat> track wheels, upgraded brakes. I don't know if that's a club car or someone's personal car, but those are those are not the stock brakes. So it's definitely got some up, some upgrades of some kind. It's a nice looking car. And then if we go in the in the workshop over here, what's your favorite car? What in, in here? here that we just looked at? I'm, I'll take that red GT3 right there. The red what? The red the red GT3. I'll yeah, take yeah. That. And then, there's always some interesting stuff in the workshop. There's a old Corvette, which I'm happy to think is, is quite pretty. McLaren um, keeps their press cars here. So when I drive cars like for my job, you know, I, uh, I, I borrow them from the manufacturers to test them and then give them back. So this is a, a McLaren test vehicle for media to drive, but, uh, but they is, store their cars here. Is this the one where I threw the keys over the top of? Yeah. On that one podcast? Yeah, I think it was. <laughs> How much is this worth? Like uh, about 260 grand, 270 grand. 270 grand. Yeah. And this one is the 600 LT Spider. So this has a retractable hardtop, which is pretty cool. These things are mega. They're so fun. And then we'll just, we'll just peek our heads down here. All right. For a hot second. That's badass. Look at that. Oh, what do we got? Weird stuff, Weird you said? Stuff. Well, this is, a, this is a BMW E30 M3 which is very fun, it's the original M3, uh, classic, looks like it's prepped from the track, and then you've got a Bentley, uh, Bentley GT, looks like it's getting tires uh, behind you, Bentley G it's actually a Bentley GTC Speed, C stands for convertible, and Speed, which you can actually see is written here, means it's got a little extra horsepower, it comes with a bigger engine. So that's a W12. There. Of and course it is. And then there's some weird shit back here. All right, let's go to the weird shit. Back here, back here is like the tent of lost children. So there's the, the Alfa Romeo GTV, which is a lovely old classic Italian touring car. Uh, you have a BMW uh, 2002, uh, but it has the engine from the E30 M3. So it has an engine about 15 years newer than the car. And then you have the McLaren 720S, which is another one of those press cars. Uh, the McLaren 720S, now that I know it's here, it just kicked that GT3 out of my bed. Oh, really? This is, this is probably the best sports car. No, let me rephrase. It's probably the best supercar on sale today. It is batshit fast. And I mean really, really, really batshit fast. It makes about 800 horsepower. Wow. It's crazy. It's, it's so crazy. It weighs, makes 800 horsepower and weighs half of what your truck weighs. Have you uh, driven this before? A bunch, yeah. And they're amazing. How I fast have, have you gotten? Uh, 182 wins on the track at California Speedway on the banking. And then next to it, you've got a Volkswagen Synchro. This is a, a Vanagon. Uh, this one's outfitted for camping. These things are really, really popular right now. They're, the values have skyrocketed. A van like this is probably a $50,000 van now. No kidding. Whereas it would have been a $5,000 van 10 or 15 years ago. I would, uh, I would, I would drive this in a second. Yeah. What makes this cool, what makes it valuable is the synchro, which means all wheel drive. Okay. So this is the, this is the four by four overlanding version of the van. And now, you know, now it's overlanding is very trendy. The, the Broncos, the Land Rovers, uh, off-road type campers and vans. Is this related to the old Volkswagen bus? Oh yeah. So because that's bus, what I had growing up. Yeah. So the bus was like 60s and 70s, yeah. and then they started this in I think the late 70s through the 80s. The engine's still in the back. So this is the car. This was one of my family uh, cars growing up, the Volkswagen yeah. bus. Yeah. And they would take the seats out so yeah. they could fit more kids in. The true that's story. Of the, that's of the time. We had a red Volkswagen <laughs> bus. That's definitely of the time. Yeah. Uh, this wow. Is radical, this is the one in the, the black one in the other room was a bigger, faster one. This is sort of a an entry level trainer with a smaller engine. Still, like this would be the fastest thing most people have ever been in if they go out in it. But it's not as fast as it could be. 
And then this is a very strange car. It's called a Noble uh, M400. Uh, it was uh, designed in, I think, I think South Africa. Uh, it has a really, it, you're right there? Put your head. It has a, a twin turbo Yamaha V6, and it makes a really interesting sound. You don't see them very often. They're really small inside, but they're really fast. Um, I think you could probably pick one up used for like maybe 75 or 80 grand. Uh, they go like a motherfucker, though. That's awesome. Yeah, they're really, really neat. Really neat cars. They look. Check out the back. They just they're very they're cool looking and aggressive and uh, don't fall in the NSX. And then last, last car, this is a, an early, maybe 91 or 92 Acura NSX, classic Japanese sports car. This one's on 1552 wheels. Looks like it's getting front tires or brakes or something, but great car. So I don't know if that's a club car or a personal car. Um, I think this, I, I, I think these are personal. That's a club car, but either way, a lot of this stuff uh, you can drive. And there's actually more because it's a Saturday today. A bunch of cars are probably out. I would imagine. Yeah, yeah, a bunch of cars. Are going That's out. a really cool tour, man. It's yeah. uh, Matt from the Smoking Tire, Matt Farrer from the Smoking Tire, and we're at uh, the Manhattan Car Club. And please, if I got any information wrong, just be nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not perfect. I'm trying. <laughs> correct him in the comments. Correct me, correct me nicely. Because we all love YouTube I don't, comments. I'm sure there's at least something, at least one or two things I got wrong in that tour. But I, I'm pretty impressed. All right. All right, guys. wash bay to hold the water in. I see that. One last look at the, uh, can't really, is it, is it a showroom officially or? This? Yeah. Yeah, showroom, yeah, could be. A little glare I'm action. In hindsight, I'm kind of glad I didn't, but it would have been, it, it's definitely the first place I looked. Let's dramatically uh, zoom in to the car that JFK was assassinated in. Of course, it's a replica. It's not a replica. It's just another one. It's just another <laughs> one. You're, yeah, you're right. You're right. They built more. All right. One. A better way to say that. We're out.